Hey guys, this is Cambridge English teacher Rory from studentlanguages.com and what I have for you today is the second part of a speaking lesson I did with a student a few days ago. In this lesson we're going to be focusing on the speaking part 2 for the Cambridge English Advanced. That's the CAE or C1 Advanced exam. Uh, it's a Cambridge exam and if you pass this exam you have a certificate which will help you get into university or get a better job or it'll help you to travel around the world more easily so it's really useful and in this lesson you'll learn some really useful tips and techniques I hope from um, from my lesson with the student and yeah this is what a lot of people find the most difficult part of the exam the speaking part two because you have to speak continuously for a minute about two different photographs but I hope this video helps you a lot and if it does help you a lot don't forget to like the video or subscribe to my channel to see loads more useful videos. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you at the end. So, they say in this part of the test I'm going to give you three photographs, three pictures. And how many do you need to talk about, Alex? Can you remember? Two. Exactly, yeah. Two photographs. And how long do you need to talk about them for? Um... For the whole part, yeah. And when when you are talking about your two photographs, that's just for one minute. All right. And then I asked the other person, your partner, to do the same about their photographs. And do you know if I ask you a question after or not? Yes. I do. You will. Yeah. What what type of question will I ask you? About my partner. Yeah. Picture. Exactly. Exactly. That's where you're right, that you know? Yeah, that's correct. And then you have they give you about thirty seconds to talk about your partner's pictures. So if you can speak for longer again that's good. And all of all of these things I, I've explained in my video course again. So okay. it's all explained, everything about the exam is explained. So, Alex, it's your turn first. Here are your pictures. And they show people attending special events. Okay? What I'd like you to do is to compare two of the pictures and say what the people might find interesting about these events and how difficult the events might be to organise. Alright? Yeah. Okay. So uh, then. So. Um. This is really tricky for me. So, um, in the three pictures, um, what, can, what can you say that they all have in common? Uh, this is um, events, no? The three pictures of uh, 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 different events. No? Special events. Uh, and I'm going to choose uh, picture one and picture two. In picture one, um, there is what it looks like a concert, uh, so I can see lots of people really definitely enjoying and having a good time. Uh, they might be visiting or no, not visiting. Um, uh, they might have travel from long to to meet their favorite singer, star, or rock star. It could be a rock concert uh, because of everybody has their have their hands up. Uh, whereas the second picture, they also are having fun since. Uh, they are in a uh, place. I can give I can give you some feedback, and I can tell you what you were doing good and what you weren't doing good. Okay. All right. And also, yeah, watch the video after the video lesson because the I explain yeah. in that as well what the best things to do are. Okay. So, mm, firstly, the first thing you need to do is to read the two questions at the top. So, what might what might the people find interesting about these events? Okay. So. Don't describe the pictures at all. 
just say what they're going to find interesting. Um, so I would immediately start with the picture in the top left. Also, you said picture one and picture two, but I don't know which one is picture one and which one is picture two, because they don't have any, any numbers. So I would say the picture in the top left. So the people uh, might find it interesting because they are watching, or they could be watching. So remember to say things like they might be, they could be, because it's all speculation. They could be watching um, their favorite band playing on a stage. I could say actually the same though is about the picture on, on the right. The people who are watching the tennis could be watching their favorite tennis players playing. Um, and so they might find it really interesting. They also might find it interesting because it could be a really close match between the two tennis players. And so it could be exciting or it could even be a final. Uh, which would be amazing if it was the final of a competition. Whereas the picture on the left could be uh, this band's final ever concert. It might be the last concert they ever play, which would make it even more interesting as well. Um, and I think it would be difficult to organize uh, the picture on the left if it is their final concert, because there'd be lots and lots of people who want to go. And when there's so many people, it's difficult to organize the tickets and things for the event which is the same for the picture on the right, when there's so many people, it could be really difficult to organize. Where do people sit? How much are the different tickets going to cost, depending on where the people are in the, in the stadium? Okay, so there's an example. That's what I would, that's what I would do, that's what I would say. That's amazing. So, you, you need, uh, in this case, yeah. uh, it's like they have some yeah. things in common, yeah. but you will not comfort in them that much uh, because they have things in common. So what you did, if yeah. I can, uh, I've been trying to see, and yeah. you've been answering the questions, mm -hmm. by comparing one another. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah. yeah. We need to contrast them and find uh, differences. You don't, you don't need... Like, Yeah. Uh, right? So it's it's okay to compare the the it's okay to com if you compare them and you're talking about similarities that's a good thing as well. You don't you okay. don't you don't just need to talk about the differences. All right. Because you can compare the two pictures and say things like whereas when you're talking about similarities as well. Is the teacher going to stop you talking? Yeah, so the, the person will stop you after one minute if you're still talking. Okay? Okay. And then they're going to... You don't to stop, right? Yeah, don't stop. Keep talking until they stop you. Alright. Yeah. yeah. That's a very good answer. But it's, it's really tricky for me. It's not tricky for me to speak English, but it is tricky for me to do this. I promise you. Yeah, I yeah. And you practice those. Yeah, this is one of the hardest parts of the speaking paper. And then, so what, what happens then, Alex? Can you tell me what will happen after you talk? Uh, after, uh, my partner is going to be asked a question about my teacher. Yep, exactly. So instead of asking your partner, because there isn't a partner, I'm going to ask you the question. <laughs> okay. So, Alex, uh, which of these events do you think would attract the largest audience? I, well, I thought it was a fine answer. Um, I would, it's not that bad, but you do it better. I would, I would probably agree. They said which one would attract the largest audience. It's a difficult question. Um, 
really depends on 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 how big the stages so if if like i said before or i would say if like alex said uh, it is their final ever concert of this band then they could attract a really really big audience in this circumstance um whereas if it was the final of a of a tennis competition also this would attract a really really big audience so it's difficult to know which one would be bigger but i think probably more people are interested in music in general as opposed to tennis in general so i would probably say that the picture on the left the rock concert would attract the biggest audience okay that's what i would say did you say ask or pro maybe i can't remember exactly what i said but yeah i you say ask or pro okay no, as, but that's very good. as opposed to I'll write it. I'll write it in your document. Okay. Hey guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. Uh, I've also released this speaking video course which you can access and I'll put the link for that in the description of this video. But for now, if you like the video, please give me a like because it really helps other students to find my videos and also subscribe to my channel for the same reason. Um, and you'll also find that I'm releasing loads more Cambridge English Advanced videos. I'm trying to release one for the B2 first or C1 Advanced every Monday and every Thursday at the moment. So yeah, subscribe to my channel to see more of those videos. And I'll see you in another video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.